I'm Skylar Hanna and we are here at Skylar London and I'm so excited because we are going to be doing a Brazilian blow dry on my wonderful model Gabby. She's so excited today. Now one of the reasons we have a Brazilian blow dry on the menu is because it is the perfect service to marry with any color. Every time that you have your hair colored, whether it's a tint or you know heavy bleaching process or anything like that, if you're looking for a treatment to kind of really seal the ends, make the hair in better condition, a Brazilian blow dry is going to do that for you. Now, when we've heard of Brazilian blow dries before, it's all kind of gotten its name because it's made it uh, the hair more manageable and things like that. Like we definitely he see and hear about the hair being smoother, more manageable. Um, people that have unwanted curl that want it a little bit more relaxed, but maybe not a relaxer. Brazilian blow dry has kind of been for them, which has been really great. It's been really wonderful to see people be able to manage their hair at home without having to whack the, the straighteners through it all the time. But one of the reasons we do it here mostly is when we want to seal in color or make it even better. So there's a few things about that. So if we were doing like heavy balayages, like what Gabby has here, she's got quite a few balayage sort of services and the ends are starting to feel a little bit. How would you describe your ends? Dry. 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 They're a little bit dry, they need a little bit of love and care, and that's what the Brazilian Blow Dry is going to do for her today. So what you're going to see with that is you're going to see the hair a lot more sealed, a lot smoother, and a lot more manageable. So when you're trying to dry it at home and it's kind of got that fluffy, sort of over-processed feeling, the Brazilian Blow Dry is going to help smooth that, make the hair feel beautiful. It's going to get the shine back into that hair, and that's why we really love it at our color salon. So a few things to you know remember about a Brazilian Blow Dry. One of the things is that you can't wash your hair three days after. You have to let the Brazilian blow dry settle into the hair. So sometimes we let our guests that come in, you know, make sure that, you know, you're going to leave it for three days because maybe you have a special event or something like that to go to and you don't want to have like greasy hair or anything like that. Our Brazilian blow dry doesn't leave the hair like, you know, too greasy or too over product or anything like that. It actually feels really soft, which is what you're gonna to see today. It's gonna to feel like there isn't really anything in the hair. The hair is gonna still feel quite virginal as well. So it's not gonna feel like it's got like a heavy coating on it or anything like that, which we don't want because that will be horrible for three days. And you know, we've done lots and lots of testing on so many Brazilian blow dry products. And this is the perfect one because it makes any head of hair feel really, really light. Second thing is, is that you definitely want to get your color done before your Brazilian blow dry. So if you were thinking about doing a Brazilian blow dry and then doing a color afterwards, it's not always the best thing because with color, we have to open up the hair and start processing it and doing other things to it. But the Brazilian blow dry is to help seal that cuticle down. And what you don't want to do is seal the cuticle down and then open it back up. It's not that it's going to really make your Brazilian blow dry completely go away, but it sort of works on like, you know, not making the Brazilian blow dry last as long. So definitely have your color done beforehand, which Gabby has. She's got her beautiful color now, so we can do her Brazilian blow dry. If you are going to have a color after a Brazilian blow dry, just do it two weeks after, and that will be absolutely fine. So um, we're going to get started because it is a process. It takes about a couple hours to do. First thing that we're gonna do is cleanse Gabby's hair. Now, what we do is we really open up the cuticle as much as possible to get the treatment in. Because we're not doing any over, sort of over processing to the hair, what we're doing is using some cleansing shampoo to really open up that cuticle. We're also using our steam machine as well to kind of really help open up that cuticle as well, which kind of is nice and therapeutic and everything. But what we're trying to do is really open up the hair as much as possible so we can really get that treatment into the hair, make sure that it's saturating inside those layers of the cuticle to kind of help flatten down as well. So the more we open it up, the better it's gonna be when we seal the hair. And then the next thing we're gonna do after cleansing, we're gonna use any conditioner or anything like that. We're then gonna dry the hair really, really big, really fluffy. It's gonna look like she's kind of been pulled through a bush backwards, but it's gonna be great because what we're gonna do is open up that cuticle as much as possible and that's the, you know, the main aim of the game here is to kind of get that treatment in as much as possible and then really seal it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. All right, so we have Gabby in the basin. She's all feeling very relaxed. I've got my steam machine here, so I'm ready to go. What I'm gonna do is shampoo the hair, really cleanse it as much as possible, opening up that cuticle, and then I'm gonna use the steam machine to just help open it up just that little bit more, and we're gonna be rinsing with quite warm water to try and make sure that that cuticle is really opening up. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. So I'm just applying the cleansing shampoo here. We kind of make sure we apply quite a bit of it because we really wanna cleanse the hair as much as possible, which means we're gonna to have to rinse the hair quite a lot, but really wanna make sure that the hair is super clean for this treatment. So I put more than the average amount of shampoo in here. And then what we're usually what we're doing when we're shampooing, we're shampooing the scalp to make sure we're cleansing any sebum that might be on the scalp. But what I'm also doing is really opening up the cuticle down here by opening up and just massaging the ends here. And you can see the hair is already setting really well, so we're gonna be able to cleanse it quite nicely. One of the most exciting things to do here at Scala London is get a steaming treatment, and you get that with a Brazilian blow dry, and we do that to help open up the cuticle as much as possible. So what I do is wrap a towel around Gabby's hair just to make sure it kind of creates a little bit of, a, of an area where the steam can get trapped into. And then we use our machine to help sort of steam into the hair to make sure that we open up that cuticle. It actually feels really nice and relaxing. So we're all done with the steam treatment. What I'm gonna do is start to thoroughly rinse Gabby's hair, make sure there's no reminiscence of the cleansing product in the hair, and then we're gonna start applying the treatment. First of all, what we're gonna do is really blow dry the hair, very big, very fluffy, so the cuticle's really open, and then we're gonna start applying the treatment section by section. I've got Gabby back. We're gonna be drying the hair really big, really fluffy. What I've done is I've detangled uh, Gabby's hair with our Skylar London detangling brush. And I love this because we have a really nice handle to sort of grip onto. Some detangling brushes are like in the hand and sometimes they sort of slip out of it, especially when your hands are wet. And this is perfect because it's got a nice little handle to grip onto. So when you're going through the hair, it's just perfect. And it just glides through tangles really well, which is so helpful for a Brazilian blow dry because the hair could be quite tangly after a Brazilian blow dry because we really open up that cuticle. So what I'm gonna do is really fluff up the hair, make it really big to be able to get that treatment in. So we've just finished blow drying Gabby's hair. I can see that the cuticle's really opened up so I'm gonna be able to apply the treatment. It's an interesting thing is to actually take note of Gabby's color. And as a color expert, Salon, we're always making sure that your color is absolutely perfect. And one of the things about having a Brazilian blow dry that you notice sometimes is that it actually can sometimes make your hair a little bit lighter. So it's good to kind of see how Gabby's hair is right now. It's got this sort of golden tones and everything to it. It's gonna be fractionally half a shade lighter after a Brazilian blow dry because sometimes a Brazilian blow dry can help to oxidize a little bit of the pigment in the hair. So we sometimes see the effect of it being a little bit lighter. So if you're not wanting to do that, what we tend to advise is that to actually have your hair a little bit darker just before Brazilian blow dry, or just to overtone a little bit so it can kind of keep its tone or a little bit. Or maybe your objective is to be a little bit lighter anyway, so we go with it. So I'm gonna start going section by section, applying the treatment, and then Gabby's gonna let that treatment sit in for 30 minutes and then we're gonna blow dry section by section with the dryer and then gloss it over with the straighteners. Okay, so we're ready to apply the treatment. I've got my treatment here in this bowl and I'm gonna be applying it with my silicone brush and using it, just dabbing it through the hair. A lot of the treatment is really combing through the hair. In a Brazilian blow dry, the trick is really to comb through it really thoroughly so you can make sure you get that treatment everywhere in the cuticle. So I take really fine sections and I apply the hair I apply the treatment to the hair really, really like in sparingly, but what I do is really comb it through to make sure that it gets through absolutely everywhere. And that's the trick to a successful Brazilian blow dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. So I've just finished 
applying all the Brazilian blow dry treatment to Gabby's hair. And I've really saturated through the hair. You can see it's not heavy, it's not like dropping on the ground or anything like that, but it's really thoroughly saturated through the hair, really combed through everywhere. I'm just gonna let that process for at least 30 minutes. What that does is really let the lotion settle into those cuticle layers, so it's quite an important step just to make sure that the hair is completely saturated. And then I'm gonna blow dry section by section, really fine sections, and then gloss it over with the irons. Perfect, so I'm gonna leave you for 30 minutes, and then we'll be back over to do the blow dry. Okay, so we're about to start the blow dry part of the treatment. Uh, I'm gonna be working with really fine sections to make sure I'm getting that temperature all the way through the hair. It's gonna really help seal that treatment down. Like I said before, the treatment's sitting in between those cuticle layers, so we really wanna flatten it down and stick it down as much as possible, so it's a really important part. The blow drying is essential to getting this right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so we've just finished with Gabby's treatment. It's all done. How does it feel? It's which I needed. Yeah, it looks brilliant. And it feels really, really soft on the hair. It doesn't feel too heavy or anything like that, which is perfect for this treatment. And also, it's gonna be perfect for when she does her next balayage as well, which I'm really hoping that the hair is gonna feel so much better in really good condition. So the one thing that Gabby has to do is that she has to not wash her hair for at least three days. And if it gets any kinks or anything like that in it, she's gonna have to iron her out or blow dry out to make sure that it's feeling really smooth and really straight, because those three days are really, really important. So I hope that you enjoyed watching our Brazilian blow dry. I know it's really great to see the before and after. I've really enjoyed doing it. If you're interested in some of the color processes that we do, please look at us on Instagram and also Facebook. And thank you for watching.